Hey guys, welcome back to the Domicom channel. I have had a hard time filming this, so let me go ahead and see if I can get it all knocked out. The I've gotten a lot of requests from my subscribers who are new players for what to do with the Assault on Blackreach set. Can you really play a game? The answer is unfortunately no. You don't have two true choices for the Space Marine players. So how do you kind of get around playing it? The the Assault on Blackreach set is a little more geared towards a Space Marine victory over the Orcs. Um, this mission type is basically geared to even out both forces. I call it Blood at Blackreach because the premise behind the mission is that the Blood Angels, hearing a st distress call from the Ultramarines, have arrived on Blackreach in order to lend aid. But unfortunately their ship was knocked um, out of orbit and, and crashed on the planet's surface uh, by the Orcs. Instead of aiding the Ultramarines, they need to get to the Ultramarine bunkers to basically lend them aid but also to survive the planet surface again this is a intro game so i went with the premise that you might not have a six by four table edge area to play on so we'll start with a four by four uh, if you do have a six by four table it, it kind of imagine it extending on both sides where the crash of the blood angels have occurred on the left hand side or wherever the space marines are deploying and on the other side is the bunkers in which the ultramarines are located. The orc and space marine lineup is basically straight from the Assault on Blackreach set, although the PDF that you will be able to download will give one or two additional pieces of war gear. For the space marines, you can download the Blood Angel Codex to from the GW site, and the link will be in the description, uh, for any of the additional war gear if you need some descriptors. So now that you know the basic premise, let's start with what the table should actually look like. First off, you're going to want five pieces of train, and honestly these can just be sheets of paper um, if you're playing a real intro game, but you're going to want the area, pieces of area terrain to have uh, approximately six to eight inch diameter, and you're going to want to make sure that there's three inches between any piece of terrain and any board edge. The next thing you want to do is have the orcs deploy. The orcs will always deploy first in this mission and they are allowed to deploy everything but one death copter, which must be left in reserves. Then, and they deploy up to 50% of the board or two feet. The Space Marines have a nine inch deployment zone and they must leave the terminators in reserves. The overall goal of the mission is for the Space Marines to get from their 9-inch deployment to within 3 inches of the table edge, signifying that they've made it to where the Ultramarines are by the end of the game. If the Space Marines make it to the table edge in 4 turns, they have to stake, stick it out and fight as the Ultramarines haven't seen them and haven't opened the gates for them to get in. So, in the end, if the Space Marine player has their captain, either one of the combat squads that were broken up from the tactical squad, or the dreadnought, if they have one of those four in the three inch deployment area, or the three inches off the table edge from the orc side, then it's a tie. If they have two or more, then it's a space marine victory. The orcs only win if none of those four types make it to within three inches of the table edge or at the end of the game. Other special rules. There's a magic black line that runs across the middle of the table. Once any Space Marine model crosses completely over that black line, so one guy from your tactical squads, your captain, your dreadnought, if, if any one model crosses past the 50% mark, the orcs can bring back downed death coptas and it's effectively orcs that were patrolling areas on the other side of where the crash occurred and they're coming in to lend aid. So Defcoptas that come back into the game, into the game after being shot down, um, at the beginning of the turn they roll a die on a 5 and 6, the Defcopta comes back into play from the Space Marine side signifying orcs 
have seen the crash and they're coming in to lend aid. That's really the the meat of the mission type. Again, um, this is what the PDF looks like, which you'll be able to download. Um, I'm going to create a link for you somewhere. It'll be in the description area. And I will also have this information up for you on Warmonger Game Day as a blog post. So, guys, feel free to check it out. Um, it has there's a lot to this mission type i've play tested it more than once I, I think i've gotten it to the point where it's a pretty even match um and honestly if the orcs can hold up the space marines um within their deployment zone for two turns there's a good chance that even if the space marines completely destroy the the orc forces that they don't make it to within three inches as a space marine player you gotta keep moving to get to that that victory area um that's about it hope you guys have a good day and i hope this helps out some of the new players take it easy guys bye